Hello everyone. This video is to show a demonstration of how we can convert the DSL modem to a Wi-Fi access point or a repeater. So I have got a modem over here which is the TP-Link modem. This is a 300 uh, Mbps modem which is uh, as you can see it is a DSL modem. I have got a DSL port and four LAN ports. So I, I am converting this DSL modem to a Wi-Fi access point or a Wi-Fi extender. So we are no, no more going to use DSL. We are planning to extend this, uh, use this router as an extender using this LAN cable. So as, as, as a beginning, I am going to reset the modem. So I have got a reset button over here a WPS or a reset button so I'm going to press it for some time until until these these lights over here uh, changes so keep keep holding for some time maybe around 10 seconds and once we release the modem will start restart as you can see all the lights are blinking so once the modem is is restarted we'll have the passwords mentioned behind the behind the modem which we can use to log in so i'll show you i over to my laptop and I'll, I'll show you the demonstration as you can see the modem has restarted now i've got the power and the wi-fi so i can directly connect using wi-fi or we can use a LAN cable to connect. Connect to Wi-Fi. We have got the password. I can I can show it to you. So as you can see, we have a SSID and a password here. So we can use this to log into the modem. Hi all. Welcome back. So this is a modem which has an internet connection, and this is the modem which was an ADSL modem which is an ADSL modem and I'm going to connect this modem to this modem using a LAN cable. So I've got a LAN, LAN cable here and I'm going to connect this LAN port to this LAN port. We'll be back. As I said, I've connected this modem to the LAN cable and the other end of the LAN cable I've connected to this modem. Now as you can see the light is blinking here let's see if it's bringing the internet back to the machine hi all so we have done a restart of our adsl tp link modem we have connected that modem to our original online modem and now we are going to connect to tp link modem using the wi-fi password which is behind the modem so here I have got the TP-Link SSID. Now I am going to log into the TP-Link modem. It will take some time to log into the modem. Once we log into the modem, we are going to go to the configuration page. Usually the configuration page is 192.168.1.1. I can also show you how we can check it. Just go to CMD command prompt and type IP config. So we will get the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi options here where we can see default gateway is 192.168.1.1 which is our modems configuration page now go to the browser any of the browser that you have and type 192.168.1.1 so once you enter this login page comes in wherein you can type user and username and password as admin sorry so it's admin admin once you log in you can choose next you can choose the time you want so mine is an Indian time. 
next here it's important to select bridge mode that is the change that is required bridge mode and click on next here you can change your Wi-Fi username and password it is good to change it because if anyone has your access to the modem then uh, they can get this password so it is good to change this password and username uh, as per your wish but uh, for now I'm going to keep it the same go to next and click on save it will take around 10 seconds to save so once it is saved it will be going to the modem uh, configuration page where we have to make some more changes now that it has gone inside you can go to the interface setup you can see the changes that you made here it is bridge mode so ensure this is in bridge mode if you are not using a uh, quick start mode you can go to the interface go to internet and change here the mode to bridge mode now the next thing is go to LAN page and here ensure that it is in DHCP and save it so now the next thing to check is so here again you can see all the wi wireless settings you can change the password here if you are not using a quick start mode now we have connected uh, our LAN and, and sorry our TP link modem and changed it to bridge mode and I'm um, just ensuring if everything is in place now that it is connected I'm going to disconnect this modem and reconnect it again just so that I can see if it is working properly all right I'm trying to connect it again as you can see now it says connected and secured earlier it was showing as no internet I'm just trying to go to Yahoo as you can see now the net is working so we have successfully converted our TP link model as a Wi-Fi repeater thanks for watching my video let me know if you have any questions thank you